everybody, it's me back again, and this is part three of the Land of the Dead Road to Fiddler's Green Let's Play. So, let's get this underway. <laughs> and um, where we last left off was, is we just escaped the hospital as it was blowing up and everything. So right now we're in the back alleys. I don't know what the level this is because I haven't been counting them, but it's the back alleys level. And our, object <laughs> our objective is to get into the police station. <laughs> and I've already got plenty of that ammo. Alright. What weapons haven't I shown off yet? Oh, the grenades. I, I think I might have shown those off, but I'm not sure. Oh, crap. Oh, I did not want to do that. Well, since I didn't want to screw up and end up taking the uh, baseball bat instead, I'm just going to reload and start back from the beginning. So, sorry for the inconvenience there, but I don't want to get rid of the Kung Fu Fist. And just so you know, the, um, the ones with the green clouds over them, those are pretty much the uh, spitter zombies. So, Left 4 Dead ripped this game off pretty good. Because, I mean, it's got spitter zombies in it and everything. Okay, I'll take the ammo. Not gonna grab the bat that time. Alright, so, let's head off to the police station. And you have to jump over this little fence here. And this is kind of a, a little area where zombies pour out from the walls. Like right there. And a couple other areas. And this is where you actually get the shotgun. And this is a pretty good weapon. You can pretty much take out a zombie in one shot. Now they're gonna start coming in. Yeah, you want to stop those zombies before they spit. Otherwise, they can pretty much they pretty much do the same thing that they do in Left 4 Dead. But in this one, instead of attracting zombies to you, they just blind you. They don't actually. Whew. Yeah, but they just blind you. They don't actually um attract zombies to you, and they take away around a quarter of your health. So that's not good. You want to stop them before they can do that. Alright, so now we're going to back to the hotel back door. Head off to the police station. Looks like there's a bunch of zombies trapped in their rooms. So I don't want to have to deal with those guys. jump. And 
that's the back alleys level finished. Now we're moving on to the warehouse level. Alright. So I'm checking these desks for ammo. So what I really like about this game is you can actually search things for ammunition. And it's kind of difficult to find ammo for like the assault rifle and the Glock and everything like that. So you have to really look for it. But those guys came out of nowhere. That's the thing with this game. They scare the crap out of you pretty good when you turn a corner to see about five zombies waiting for you. Oh, here's another radio. I'll let you listen to it. Folks, we have some fantastic news for you. Mr. Kaufman, the man overseeing much of the work in the City of the Living, has just informed us that an evacuation effort will begin shortly. People interested in moving to the fortified city should make their way to the Jared Smith Center for the Performing Arts. We'll keep you posted as more details come in. Alright. So these radios are scattered all throughout the game. And it's not like you get an achievement for finding them or anything. Remember, this was before achievements. But instead of getting the achievements, like I said, you get the, um... Just kind of a little backstory on this. Kind of a little foreshadowing, too. so we can hit the police station. So now they're going to start crawling over. Yep, and that's what happens if they spit you. Your health pretty much just... Your vision gets all blurry and everything looks like it slows down. I'm playing on easy. I'm playing on easy mode, so it doesn't take away nearly as much health as it would if I was playing on normal or hard. So you may consider me kind of a wimp for doing that, but whatever. I'm not sure or not, but I think the zombies keep infinitely respawning if you stay in here. Like, and you don't open the door. I'm not sure, though, so I can't put all my judgment on that. Alright. Man, you gotta love the revolver. And the Kung Fu Fist. I'm gonna try and be lenient with the Kung Fu Fist so I can kind of preserve the gameplay value of it. Oh. That was a close one. Good thing he didn't get a chance to spit any acid at me. That would have sucked. We're gonna have to. Well, where the hell we go next? Um, let's see if I can remember. 
Oh yeah, here we go. Some Glock ammo. I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, let's use the Glock a little bit more. It's pretty nice that it shoots fast, because that means it yeah. So you can kill a whole bunch at once. Alright, so now we gotta open the door. Yeah, the circuit's blown. Now we gotta find a fuse. So there's the fuse box. That's where we have to put the fuse. attention. Ooh, shotgun shells. That's nice. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get to the right angle to grab the ammo. There we go. Alright. Let's use the shotgun to... Well, I gotta reload it. a little bit more. More shotgun ammo. Alright, I guess I'll use the shotgun for now, since I got a lot of ammo for it. Right, there's a fuse. And that fuse looks strangely like an eyeball. That's besides the point. Alright, now we gotta use the switch. And I can't remember if there's gonna be zombies on the other side or not. So I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, the frame rate dipped a little bit there. Sorry about that. that? Who is hell? Alright, so there's the police station. Alright. So now we're gonna go on to the level police station. I think I'm gonna start stop recording right here. So, next up for part four is the police station. And I'll see you guys later, and I hope I don't die until then. See you later.